everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Sarah and I am a naturopathic doctor specializing in dermatology. On my channel, I share my experience with different skin conditions and how I've been able to heal them naturally. Today we are talking about cold sores, how to get rid of them fast and how to treat them naturally. As you may notice, I am just getting over a cold sore myself. I think today is day five or day six. And I'm the type of person who's always been prone to getting sold cold sores for several years. Some people tend to get them and other people never get them. So it's kind of interesting. There's actually one time where I had three cold sores all at once. I had two on my upper lip and then one on my lower lip. And here's a photo here. It was right before I took a trip to Europe with my sister and it was pretty awful. So if there's ever a person who wants to get, know how to get rid of these cold sores faster, it's me. So I'm sharing with you all of my top tips for getting rid of cold sores fast. So cold sores actually have nothing to do with a common cold and they are actually caused by the herpes simplex virus type 1. This virus can remain dormant in your, in your body and be triggered and reactivated to cause symptoms in your skin. I'm not really going to go into any more of the details of what cold sores are or what causes them because you probably already know that so I'm just going to get straight to the tips. So my number one best tip for stopping a cold sore is to ice it. Yep, so that's right, I have an ice cube here. And the first thing that I do when I start to feel a cold sore coming on, when you start to feel like the tingling is you're gonna ice it. So what I do is I take a paper towel or a piece of toilet paper and I just wrap the ice cube around so that your fingers don't freeze. If you get cold sores kind of often, you can, you can tell when you're starting to get one. Your lips are gonna kind of feel a little tingly or itchy, maybe burning, like there's there's signs. So you're just gonna apply that onto your the spot where there is that tingling sensation. And I've done this successfully many times. It works to actually just stop the cold sore in its tracks and so that it doesn't even occur. And what happened with me this time is I actually, <laughs> I haven't had a cold sore in a long time, so I wasn't thinking clearly. And the night before it happened, I did start noticing like some little bit of a tingling sensation, but I didn't really think much of it. And so then in the morning, um, I realized I was definitely starting to get a cold sore because the little blisters were starting to form. And at that point, I did still ice it. And you can do that as well if you've missed that very beginning stage. You can still ice it in the beginning. That's definitely going to help with reducing the swelling and the pain. And it's going to help prevent it from getting bigger and lasting for several weeks. So that is my number one tip and I definitely swear by it. It's worked for me several times to completely stop a cold sore in its tracks. Now, once you've passed that and you realize that you are getting a cold sore, my second tip is to know what your triggers are. So usually, like I said, the virus is gonna kind of remain dormant or asleep in the body until something triggers it and activates your immune system then to have this sort of reaction. And so the most common triggers for people are going to be stress, overexposure to the sun or getting a really like intense sunburn, fevers and overconsumption of added sugar, processed sugar. So usually for me, what happens is it's not necessarily just one trigger. It can be like multiple triggers and then I get a cold sore. So if I'm feeling really stressed out and then meanwhile eating a lot of sugar, that can trigger a cold sore for me. Tip number three is to use lysine. You can either use a topical lysine cream or take lysine internally in supplement form. So I use this type of lysine. It just says cold sore treatment and you're just gonna apply a little bit on there. Whoa, I didn't realize so much was coming out. Um, yeah, so you're just gonna apply a little bit of that to your lips here. Lysine is thought to slow down the replication of the herpes simplex virus, one by actually interfering with arginine, which helps the virus replicate in the body. So lysine is gonna slow down the body's production of arginine and then help speed up the healing process. For me, I typically just tend to stick to the topical lysine. Personally, I haven't noticed much of a difference when I do lysine supplementation, but I know for some people, they feel like that really works. So it's kind of whatever you find works for you. 
The other thing that I like about using a lysine ointment topically, topically like this is that it's going to help keep the sore and the wound area moist. So anytime when you're keeping that wound area moist, it's going to be able to heal faster and have less scarring. So definitely using some sort of, it doesn't have to be lysine, but some sort of lip ointment that's just keeping the area moist and it's going to promote wound healing. Tip number four is going to be to avoid all processed and added sugar and especially chocolate. So chocolate is pretty high in arginine and so like I just mentioned arginine is going to help the virus replicate and spread further in the body. And so other foods that contain high amounts of arginine besides chocolate are going to be nuts like peanuts and walnuts and almonds, pecans, and then also soy, gluten, and wheat also contain a good amount of arginine. So you just want to try to either eliminate these foods while you're having an outbreak of a cold sore or to greatly reduce them. And lastly, tip number five is to try not to worry about your cold sore. The sooner that you can just accept that it's there and that it's not a big deal, your body's going to be able to heal faster and just kind of get over it and life will move on. It's really not a big deal. People get cold sores all the time and if you can just continue going about on your day, then you're, you're going to be able to heal better and your body's not going to view that as like a, a threat. To, to your healing. Let me know in the comments down below what helps you in healing a cold sore fast and thanks so much for watching.